we did a lot of collaborations on our last album, but they weren't kind of um, sort of current pop people at the time. It was like we had like John Spencer from the Blues Explosion, yeah, and Robert Smith cool. from The Cure, and Lisa How Hannigan. How did you get him to do that? That's so cool. If yeah. uh, Robert Smith, yeah, we sent them just sent them an email. By chance, on a can we all do that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think he'll do it for everyone. I think <laughs> he's manager. just well up for it. We had a piece of music and we thought about you know, who we get, but we didn't we didn't want to be like obvious who's the hype now. Yeah. So we went for people that we actually listened to and liked and thought would work with our music. But our manager, Chancer as he is, uh, Matt, sent an email six months later. It was sitting in Robert Smith's junk junk wow. mail, but luckily he checked his junk mail. That's um, amazing. Just do you responded. ever get like when you when you get sort of well known and you're kind of you're, do your labels ever sort of put you're probably not gonna you're probably gonna lie. No, we're, but no, like, we can't do, do, no, do, do no, collaborations get put on you? We, we did, you have to do them. We had well, we, the, the last album we, oh, like we signed with um, <laughs> we signed, to, signed it to a major, but by the time we signed it, it was all it was completed. Right. So all the collaborations, like none of the collaborations came through the record company. It was just off the back of us. Um, approaching people and they liked the music, thankfully. But um, they were like, the, the record companies, or record companies, they're businesses, they have shareholders, yeah, they want to make money, and what they want to do is they want to get you working with the, the new young guys that are coming through. What have you done? We didn't, we, didn't, we, didn't, we, didn't. Did, we did actually did a collab with, um, with a band, a Scott, well, well uh, <laughs> I probably shouldn't say who the band is, but anyway, no, it was a singer who's who does a lot um, for the okay. BBC and, and Radio and 1 I, especially. But in the end, his label um, wouldn't let them release it because of oh, inter, really? inter major label politics. They had pulled it off the album, which would have been, I think it probably would have been a, the strongest radio track anyway off the album. Okay. And it was just a total waste of time. Well, I think for what the label at the time, uh, it's more opening doors. Sure. You'll get more doors opened. Do you think they'll get? Do you think it'll be the other end of it so at some point where, like, you, the label are going to come to you and say, "We've got this young buck, can he <laughs> remix a track of yours?" You know. Um, oh, this has happened as well. <laughs> <laughs> and you hated him. Well, I thought you were going to say collaboration. No, it's not that we hated him. It's just it's, it's, <laughs> we don't hate anybody. It's, it's more uh, it's these opportunities open, mm. open up free. Okay. And if obviously the record company believe in the person that they're putting you in contact with and if we're feeling it we'll work with them but the the people are talented there's, sure. there's so many talented people out there like when that door opens if you really like what they're doing go for it okay. that's right you um, try it and if it doesn't work it doesn't Paul, work the collaborations are like a, a lot so particularly at the moment are kind of like the post dubstep well there seems to be kind of mixtures between kind of um musicians who aren't from kind of the dance world coming in and kind of collaborating with dance that seems to be going on a lot more at the moment it seems everything seems to have just been thrown together in one big part yeah i mean i'm i'm, I'm all for that um you know it's nice to nice to hear sort of musicians come in from a totally different background who don't come from a dance aesthetic it shakes things up it, you know it, it opens new ideas i mean myself and dave have done a lot of collaborations over the years and um the, the one thing I'll take away from it, we've done a couple of sort of internet ones where we sort of swapped, swapped parts across across the, the net, um, but we've also had some where um, the artists have actually come to Belfast and we've worked in the studio. And when you're used to like working in a studio two or three days a week and it's just the two of us, yeah. to have that third party come yeah, in quite nice. with all their energy and shake, and shake things up, you know, was amazing. Workflow just went through the room. We'd, we'd, we'd finish a track in a session, you know, and it'd be nailed by the time the guy had to go home the next yeah. day on the flight, you know. And it's it's great. Uh, I think it's it's something that everybody should try and do. Just bringing in that that third party and to to sort of mix things up. Because especially if you if you are just in a dark room, just kind of putting things together, you can kind of. Well, I mean, you could go mad ultimately. It's but just yeah. like drinking coffee and smoking cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and just it's staring not a healthy at each other. Business, is it's it? not, it's no, not a healthy no, business no. at all. No.